All right. So we're going to begin with your hundred here. You can bring, bend your, keep your knees bent. Bring your legs up out of the mat. So your knees are folded towards your chest. You can choose parallel or V here, whichever one you like. You're going to bring your hands up behind your head. Let your elbows have a little sense of wrap forward and a lot of sense of lift. On an exhale, hundred curve up out of the mat. Take a second to check your hips, check your shoulders, find a shape that you like for your hundred. Reach your right arm out long by the side of your waist. Send your left leg out straight and start pumping that right arm in your hundred. Feel how this puts the work across your torso in a sort of a diagonal. Feel how this gives you the urge to sort of side bend, side bend, side bend as that arm pumps. Fight that with your left side abs. Yes, good. Do about two more breaths here. Nice and steady through the torso, trying not to wiggle, trying not to bounce, just pump that arm. Use an exhale to bend your arm again, put it back behind your head, pull your leg in. Switch sides, left arm long, right leg reaching, start the pump on this side. Same idea, different side, probably feels a little different. Check in again with those two hips being level, with your two shoulders as level as you can, two sides of your shoulder girdle as level as you can, and feel that need to pull your right abs together a little bit more. It's easier to do the left ones because of that arm, but you can pull your right side together to make your torso symmetrical. Great. Then you're going to bring that arm back behind your head, bend your knee back in, roll yourself back down, feeling nice and long on the mat. Great. Let your feet come to rest down on the mat. Then you're going to send your legs out long in front of you, stretch away, gather them together right and left. You can use your Pilates V here, feel the wrap of your hips and hug your legs together. Hug the length of your legs together. Great. We're going to do just one or two straight classic roll-ups first to begin. So reach your arms up above you, not all the way to the ground, where you feel connected in your shoulders. With an inhale, start lifting your head, shoulders, hundred curve. Exhale when it gets really hard. Send it out over your legs. Fight to keep heels down. It's fine to let the knees soften or even bend a little bit here so you can get that good stretch forward. Start from the hips, start from the glutes. Roll yourself back, roll yourself down. Keeping the arms high makes it harder. Nice, laying out nice and long, and feel that return to your start position. One more of those, same way. Inhale, start lifting your head, start lifting your shoulders. Exhale into the flex of your abs, into that contraction of your spine, up, over, forward. And reversing what you did, rolling from the hips, starting from the glutes, starting from the base of the pelvis, rolling it down, get longer, get longer, get longer, get longer, all the way back down to the mat, great. Now you're gonna take one arm, wrap it around your waist, Leave the other arm up like it was. Torso does the exact same action as you just did. Inhale, start lifting your head, shoulders. Exhale, come up around. Fight to stay level even though your arms are not symmetrical. Yes, feel that good reach forward and over. And roll yourself back down, feeding glute work into hamstrings, pulling lumbar long and then lengthening, letting it have the space that it needs when you're down there. Yes, one more, this, the same, same orientation. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curve, feel the dive of your head forward. And check out, this is tricky, but you can still be level with your two collarbones. Mm-hmm, it's a weird place to try to be, but you got it. Rolling back down from the bottom, feed the glutes under, pull the lumbar long, stretch the upper back tall. Yes, and you're just gonna switch your arms, wrap the other one around your waist, reach the one free arm up to the top. Still, still connect that it's your right arm up now. Connect through your right shoulder all the way down to your right waist, right fingertips all the way down to your right waist. Yes. And here you go to this side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curve, reach, scoop over. Different on this side. Different, different arms, different side of the body, different feeling. Roll it back down. Still remember, your goal is to stay as symmetrical as you possibly can through your torso and not let the fact that one arm is different make your torso be different. So here you go, last one, coming up and over. Lift, curve, scoop, feel that long stretch, reach over. Don't forget, it's fine to bend your knees a little bit if you need to. And then last one, rolling back down. Scoop those glutes under, stretch your lumbar long, stretch your upper back tall, and you're down on the mat. Finish, great. All right, moving on now. Yeah, wiggle adjust if you need to, because that sometimes shifts you up or down the mat in your roll up. You're gonna come now into a version of your single straight leg stretch. So this is a little work for your brain here. <laughs> go ahead and lift your arms up to the ceiling. You can go through bent knees if you like, but you're gonna arrive with both legs straight up towards the ceiling as well. Straight legs is harder, but you, you get there eventually with that lift of the straight legs. Now exhale, 100 curve lifts up, fingertips are still towards the ceiling. Feel all four of your limbs here. Now you're going to take 
your opposite. If you're doing your right arm, you're going to do your left leg. If you reach your right arm back behind you, reach your left leg out away from you. See that diagonal across the body? Yes. Pull it up to top, put it back together, set. Yes, here goes your other side, opposite side. Move it out away and pull it back up to the top. Good. Give me a couple more of those alternating sides. It is hard to hold your non-moving arm <laughs> in a non-moving way. Both arms want to move, I find, when I do this. Try not to push your opposite arm down. Hold it where it is, just lift the other one up. Yes, let's take a break. Bend knees, roll down. Because that was a lot. I hear some breath. I like it. Always remember to keep breathing through these. Okay, we go for one more round, same idea, except for your brain, you're going to do the same leg and same arm. So you're going to be opening up one side of the body, bring it back together, opening up the other side of the body, bring it back together. I say opening up the side of the body, you gotta keep your torso together. You're moving those limbs though. So here we go, same setup. Arms lift up to the top, legs lift up to the top, Exhale, 100 curve lifts up to set you into those abs, into that ab work, good. So here goes right arm back, right leg away. Yes, pull it back up to the top, set. Here goes your other side, left side, right, le I can't say it, left leg, left arm, there you go. And your alternating side, same arm as leg reaching apart and pull it up, good. One more time, reach it apart, pull it back together. Yes, bend knees, roll down. All right, great. <laughs> From here, bend your elbows again, place hands back behind your head, just like you started. You're gonna send your legs up to the ceiling again, straight legs. You can use the wrap of your Pilates V, you can feel that pull the back of your hips together. Exhale, 100 curve up here, setting for your double straight leg stretch. So first, take your straight legs, your double straight legs out away from you, not too low, hold them in that space there. Now unroll your 100 curve, lay your head down. Pull your legs back up to the top, then pick your 100 curve back up. So you go legs out away, 100 curve rolls down, legs pull back up, exhale, 100 curve lifts back up. Yes, one more of those. Legs away, unroll, get long through your chest, then pull the legs up, then come up with your 100 curve, but don't get shorter. Great, bend knees in, roll down from there. Okay, everybody should really be feeling their abs good and strong, <laughs> good and worked from all of that. Awesome. All right, bring yourselves up to sitting now, please. You can come close to the front of your mat. We're gonna start rolling like a ball here. You can imagine that on your mat, you would be sitting in the center of a wagon wheel, like spokes on the wheel radiating all out around you. <laughs> and your seat is right in the hub of that wheel. So we're gonna do a, a couple, just regular, straight back through front and back to get into this a little bit. And then you are going to start following those spokes of the wheel to turn your ball. You're not gonna go a full rotation around. I mean, you could, but we're just gonna do like three, four to one side. And then you gotta bring yourself back the way you came. And you go over three, four to the other side and bring yourself back the way you came. And we'll finish in center. All right, so this is a good start position for your rolling like a ball. Scoop into those low abs, find that hover balance, as, as little change as possible to lift the toes off the ground. Good. Straight through center for three times. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, bring it up and home. Yep, use, this is your calibration. This is your preparation. Find the center, find the balance. Now you begin to turn. Take it just a little bit over to one side. Find that wheel spoke. Yes, wheel spokes are straight. So it's trying, to, trying not to twist, trying to twist as little as possible. There has to be some asymmetrical pull here, but see if you can hide that within your shape. Make that secret. <laughs> and they're just like, how are you turning? It's magic. And if you've gone over to both sides, I think we got about three more here to bring yourself back around in the center. You bring it home, <laughs> find, find the middle. There you are, and you can set your feet down. Come out of that. <laughs> yeah, get talking about things that I'm not clear about. Which way are you turning? How far are you going? But you both got the rotation both directions, so. Yay, well done with that. Okay, roll on back down to your mat just to lie down this time. Nice and easy for one breath, cause there's more. <laughs> You're gonna stand those legs again straight up towards the ceiling. Reach them up there. Wrap your Pilates V again so you get that support from your hips, good. Reach your arms up to the ceiling again. Exhale, 100 curve up and you're gonna go into your corkscrew here. Leave your arms reaching, yep, fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take your legs, your corkscrew legs over to the right, take your arms over to the left. Sweep your legs down through that corkscrew, spiral your arms the opposite direction, 
and pull it back up into center. Yes, so your arms and legs draw a posing circle. Try the other direction, opposite of what you did at first. Reach the legs away, reach the arms, circle, bring it back up. And going again, alternating sides. So your hips do twist in this. You have rotation through your lumbar. Your hundred curve can stay steady. Good, good, yeah. One more, I think, makes you even both sides. If it doesn't, you can do one more bonus one. <laughs> I lose track. Good, pulling it together. Bring it in and roll down. All right, all that front body work, front flexion, forward curve. Let's balance it out with some swan, some extension, some little bit of back bending, dare I say. So bring it up to sitting. Swing your legs around to one side or the other. Come down onto your front on the mat, getting set up here. With your hands a comfortable width right and left, Head to tail, your hands are about in line with your shoulders, upper chest, somewhere in there. Your legs can be apart if you like. Being together is harder. Choose what level of challenge you want here. Lengthen your sternum all the way out and put the tip of your nose on the floor to prepare. So you're not starting in a pre-hunched place. Yes, good. All right, straight through the middle for one or two. So you're gonna feel your triceps pull together behind you. Feel your shoulder blades slide down into your back pockets. Lift your chest up, lift your collarbones up. Feel that nice extension. Exhale, lengthen the sternum. Let the head re-pivot, come back down to where it was. Tip of the nose on the mat, not your forehead, not your chin. One more like that, maybe a little bit bigger. It's your second one. Pull together, lift up, feel triceps strong, shoulders strong, legs reaching back, head reaching up around away. Exhale, taking it back down, great. Now, same, same idea, same spine, same breath, same core. As you start swanning up, you're going to let that right arm, right hand, glide out in front of you, reach it up away, lift, swan with your arm as well as your spine. Yeah, and exhale, bring it back down, reset. Inhale, just reach it straight forward as you come up, lift, bring it straight back in, back down, exhale. If you want to add on, if you want more, start to take it into maybe there's a little bit of rotation. As you reach your right arm forward, swanning up, maybe look at your right arm, maybe open that chest a little bit and then bring that back around, back in, back down. This is way harder than it seems like it should be. <laughs> Don't worry about the height, worry about what you're feeling. Inhale, lift, reach, glide that arm forward, lift, maybe look under your left arm a little bit, bring it back around, bring it back, reset in center. Beautiful. All right. Press back to a little bit of child's pose here. So you can lengthen out your spine back into that forward curve. Let your low back ease up a little bit here if it got a little tight or excited about that. And then you had a nice moment to stretch and breathe there. Bring yourself to a quadruped position, coming to your hands and knees on the mat. Your knees can have a little distance between them. Your hands can be at least shoulder width apart. Wider for the hands is okay if that's comfortable for you. Look for vertical thigh bones up out of the ground, vertical arms up out of the ground. Yeah, so you find that position. Give a little more support through your abdominals than you would think so that you're not dropping your belly down to the floor. Slide one leg, slide your right leg back behind you, feeling the toe, feeling the top of the foot slide along the floor. Yep, and bring it back in. Settle your knee back down to the mat. Little preparation here, alternating legs. Send the other leg out. Try not to let your hips shift. It's easy to open up in the direction of that reaching back leg. Bring it back in. One more time, each leg, just that. Keep your two hip bones level down to the floor. Yes, really feel that hamstring glute of that extending back leg. And one more, other side, evening out. There you go. And bring it back in. Now, rather than tucking your toe under like you're gonna stand on the ball of your foot, you're gonna let the top of your foot, the shoelace part of your foot, slide along the floor. As you go with that one, one leg again, now let that reach continue. Let your foot lift up out of the ground, yep. Bend your knee, bring it forward, bring that knee all the way up under your chest. Let your spine curl, let your spine forward flex. Exhale all the air out. Inhale, reach it back long, extend your spine, reach away. Exhale, pull it back together. Feel the curve, feel the contraction, feel that hip flexor work. Yeah, bring the knee all the way to your chest. The same leg one more time, same thing. Reach away, reach apart. Mostly feel the reach of your head. Maybe a little swan starts to show up here, but it's not a big arch. Exhale, squeeze, pull back together, bring it in and then set that knee down on the mat underneath you. Great, other leg, other side, same thing. So I think we do three, three each side. Let's go for that, slide the foot back. The lift of the leg is an extension of the work you're already doing. It's not suddenly something way different. Exhale, pull it in. 
Let that knee glide back beside the other one. Glide up under your chest. Spine curls. Inhale, reach strongly back. Stretch. Kick that leg back there. Exhale, pull it forward. Ha! You could think about running. If you were going to really sprint, <laughs> you would need that much leg. Reaching it back away, you would need that much. Pull it forward. Get it there. Get it under you. Flex. Curl. Exhale. Yes. And set it back down on the mat beside you. Three is a lot for either side of that. Okay, sit back towards your heels, come off your hands, roll your wrists a little bit if, you, if your hands are feeling the work of holding your body up. And then you're going to come back to sit down on your mat again with your legs out in front of you. Actually, let's go ahead and lie all the way back down to start your teaser. Lying down on the mat, nice and long. Let's start with knees bent and feet together in a little bit of a Pilates V. There's many options for the legs for teaser. If you have one that you know you love, feel free to do that instead. But I'm going to say, because i got to pick something, <laughs> feet down on the mat, knees bent, hips in Pilates V. Arms reach up towards the ceiling. You can do a circle with the arms out to the sides, reach them wide, start to lift your 100 curve, lift. Now scoop into your center, pick everything up, pick up your feet, pick up your 100 curve, lift your arms, feel the stretch through your spine. Exhale, roll back down to the mat, lengthen your lumbar like you did in your roll up. Yes, bend the knees when it makes sense to bend them and set the feet back down on the mat to reset for another one. Good. And we do that again, arms lift up to the top. Inhale, scoop around into your center. Exhale, lift, go, pick it up, pick it up. Reach, 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 reach. Keep curving your spine, but get taller. Thank you, yes. Roll it back down, long away. Bend the knees in and set the feet down on the mat again. Lift the arms up above you, behind you, and you're there already to start for your next one. Yes. Third one, last one we'll do here. Circle around to the sides, scoop, pick it up. Bring yourself up, lift, 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 lift. What if, surprise, what if you could do little arm circles here like you did in your corkscrew? Don't worry about the legs, unless you want to, but see what that's like to circle your arms around. Do at least two each direction. You can alternate, you can do three one side, three the other side. There you go. It's harder than it seems like it should be. Then you're there, you're reaching your long, yes, almost there. Bend your elbows, feed your arms back behind your waist to place your hands on the floor. Good, let's bend knees, put the toes down on the ground. At last, there you go. Okay, if you need to adjust a little bit here to walk your hands further back, Ashling, I think you could, yep. So you can still feel this deep scoop pull in, support of your low abs in this curved supported position. Cool. Bring your legs all the way together to parallel. Hug knees together, uh-huh, into your can-can. So you can point your toes, lift your heels off the ground, leave the toes on the ground. You're gonna twist that, it's that corkscrew twist again from your hips. Send your legs over to the right. They stay glued together. Send them over to the left. Send them over to the right. When they're in that right reach, straighten, straighten legs, reach toes out. And then bend, tap toes down, you're right back where you were. And you go left, you go right. You go left, kick down. You go right, you go left, you go right, kick down. It's easier for me to say it faster than you to do it, but you don't have to spend forever here either. You can let it have a little flow. Try to keep those shoulders square, twist from the obliques, feel the breath, keep going, yes. Here we go to the right. Next one will be your last one, so you know you've done an even one, both sides, even number both sides. Lift, reach, stand up out of the ground, yes. There you are, and come out of that. You can just send your legs out front, shake out a little bit, roll your hands, roll your shoulders. Very good. Okay, from here, take your legs apart so your feet are about as wide as your mat. Slide your hands around underneath the back of your legs, back of your knees. You can do a little softening in your knees if you need to. Trying to have, again, as little change of your shape as possible. Can you keep the same angle hips and torso. Start rolling yourself back. Start scooping your legs up. Pick up to your open leg balance. Uh-huh. If you can get the knees straight, if you can reach the legs out, awesome. Now, hold that shape. Reach your arms up like you did in teaser. Hold this shape. Rock it back and rock it up to balance. Inhale back. Exhale, lift. Hold at the top if you can. Legs do a little beat, 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 and reset. Yes, you're almost there. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, bring it home. Hold strong, reach out while you beat, 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 reset. Yes, yes, yes. Take it back. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, bring it up. Beat, 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 reset. One more time. You got it. Strong, reach out through all the limbs. Beat, 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 fight for it. You got it. Bend your knees, set your legs down. 
sit up tall, roll your shoulders out, and you can feel good about that for the rest of the day.